There are several tools available to you that allow you to cut your artwork. And the way this balloon looks, we're going to do some surgery to try to make it a little happier because, ladies and gentlemen, this is the saddest balloon ever drawn in the history of mankind. So if you look over here under the eraser tool, we hold our mouse down, you see that we have a cutter tool and we have a scissor tool. And they work in two different ways. Let's go ahead and start off with the cutter. So I'm going to click on this tool and then my mouse turns into something that looks like an X-Acto knife. And an X-Acto knife is pretty much in the real world a very, very sharp blade attached to something like a pencil and you can use it to make very precise cuts. And if you're not careful, you can cut yourself and I've done that several times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click with my mouse and I'm going to just draw like this to cut. And as you see, if you look very carefully, you can see that little cut there. I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see that little line there. What I can do now is grab my selection tool and click. And now I can move this and I actually cut the stroke too. So now you see I have this selection and I just cut into this balloon. And now we can move that around if we want to. We can do whatever we want. We put that over here. We can rotate it or whatever you want to do. Now what we can do as well, let me go ahead and leave that alone. Is I'm going to go to another part of the balloon and show you another reason you might want to use that. Sometimes when people draw, they don't want to have a line, a solid line or a stroke that completely surrounds their artwork. So if you scan this artwork in and you colored it in and you don't want a line to completely surround your artwork, just use your cutter tool and just carefully cut up away a part of that line. So you get that kind of a more natural look to your artwork. You know, and some, some people draw that way. Some people don't close all their lines and you might want to emulate that. So that's what you would do with this particular tool as well. Let me zoom out a little bit. We also have the scissor tool and the scissor tool will create a rectangular or a freeform line depending on the shortcut that you hold down. And I'm going to go ahead and not hold any keyboard shortcut. I'm going to click and drag to draw out this selection here. And I don't need to go to my selection tool to move this. It's already grayed in and ready for me to go. So I'm going to click and move this part of the balloon away. And that's what the cutter tool or rather the scissor tool will do. I can also hold down on my keyboard the command or control key and this time I can get draw a lasso. So once again hold down command or control and now you can draw out the shape that you want to draw. And now you can move that out and do whatever you want to. And these are all separate pieces of artwork. So what I could do if I want to I could you know take my paint bucket tool and you know my fill tool and grab another color and click in that area and change the color of all these new parts. So these pieces are actually all separate pieces of artwork. Even the stroke here, even that outline is all separate now. And that's one of the advantages to using a tool like this. So you're actually cutting your artwork into little tiny chunks. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could put those pieces back in there to create a, an effect such as a yin yang symbol or whatever you want to do. And it's just a cool effect. And you can use this to create all kinds of, you know, psychedelic or Picasso kind of effects, cubism or any kind of effect you could think of using these tools. So once again, the cutter tool is located under what's normally seen, which is the eraser tool. And you can use it to cut and to pretty much break up your artwork into individual chunks that you can then manipulate by coloring them or scaling them or whatever you need to do.